Hi everyone, this is Jeremiah Carney with Adamson Systems, continuing the Blueprint AV tutorial video series. At this point in the series, you should have a basic understanding of the steps involved to create a basic space in 2D mode, hang a virtual array, and fine-tune your design to suit your space. Now that we've taken care of the basics, it's time to delve into the more advanced aspects of Blueprint AV. Go back to the Room Data tab. Now in the Tools drop-down menu, deselect 2D mode. You will notice that the section view graph has now moved to the lower left side of your screen and the right side now contains a 3D view of your space. If you click the cabinet tab, you will see that the same is true for the dual 2D graphs. The 3D view can be altered in several ways. Holding the left mouse button and moving your mouse will rotate the view. Holding the right mouse button and moving your mouse will move the design and using the cursor wheel allows you to zoom in and out. Along the top of this view, you can see a series of buttons. The first four relate to the perspective from which you are viewing your space. There is a top view, side view, three-quarter view, and front view. Pressing any of these buttons more than once will rotate the view at 90 degree increments. The next button is a bird's eye view. Pressing this button will change your view to reflect what your space looks like from the top of your array. The next two buttons refer to the directional aspects of the enclosures you are working with. Rays allows you to see the vertical focal point of each enclosure in your array. Horizontal rays allows you to see the horizontal coverage of the particular array you are working with. Reference axis allows you to enable or disable the view of the reference axis or axes you are working with. The next three buttons allow you to enable or disable the viewing of your stage, audience and surfaces. Show Floor Coordinates will allow you to view the coordinates of your surface's vertices by hovering over them with your mouse. Further to this, you can click on the coordinates and edit them in the bottom section of your view. This is sometimes easier than searching through the individual surfaces to locate the points you wish to edit. Another easy way to select a surface is by simply clicking on the surface in your view with the left button on the mouse. Object enables or disables objects in your 3D view. Objects are a special surface that are not factored into the simulations. This can be useful when constructing prosceniums, balustrades and other ornamental aspects of your space. Cabinet enables or disables all cabinet groups in your 3D view for easier editing of your floor surfaces. The next three buttons allow you to enable your view rotation horizontally, vertically and along the Z axis. Please stay tuned for the next installment of the Blueprint tutorial video series. 